Hello teacups! Welcome back to my channel. It is now Sunday night and on Friday I asked you guys on Twitter if it was too soon to do another bookstore vlog and you guys said it's never too soon so I was like perfect I'm already in the car I have my camera so I decided to just bring you guys along with me so I have the footage from that so I'm gonna insert that right here. And first things first, I did ask you guys if I should buy Daisy Jones and The Six. And I have read three books by Taylor Jenkins Reid and I absolutely love them. My favorite is One True Love. So yeah, I did a little poll on my Instagram story. 85% of you said yes. So I did in fact buy the book. Now we're gonna move over to my desk because I also picked up some supplies for my bullet journal. Okay, so moving over here to my desk. So first of all, if you haven't seen my bullet journal, this is from Erin Condren, and I love it so much. And you can also personalize it, which I think is really neat. So at Barnes & Noble, I picked up this set of, um, this is a 10 count of the Mild Liner Creative Markers, and this is the Zebra brand. So these are double-ended, so one side is kind of like a highlighter and then the other side is like more for coloring and I really like these because you can kind of like use it as a highlighter or if you are you know doing some sketches and you just want to have more of like a watercolor effect um, this is really great for that I also picked up two I think it's called Tombow pins um, but these make your handwriting look so good and I have been watching a lot of bullet journal videos and um, a lot of people use these. So um, I also kind of tested it out for drawing and I really, really like them. So I'm really glad I got those. Those are kind of like staple items to have if you are like wanting to get into bullet journaling. And then from Erin Condren, I ordered this tape dispenser and I think this is so beautiful. It has gold accents and they also have rose gold, but I wanted mine to match <laughs> this little sign here. Um, and then I got some washi tape. So this one is pink and it has little daisies on it. And then my other roll also has daisies on it, but this one is in gray. But unfortunately, uh, the washi tape did not arrive until after I did my August spread. So I want to do one more page just so I can use my washi tape. So yeah, we're gonna work on that and then I will do a final flip through so you guys can see everything. And yeah, so I'm gonna play some music. I have, um, I have this little record player and I've been listening to Taylor Swift's Red album because that is the best album. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna relax and have a nice cozy night in and not really sure what I'm gonna do for this final page, but uh, we'll figure it out along the way. <laughs>
Here's the aftermath of bullet journaling. <laughs> Luna wants to play with literally everything. <laughs> hey, what you doing? <gasps> Ooh. Careful, careful. So I'm gonna do a little walkthrough of my setup. So here's the first page. So I always like to do a calendar on the first page. And then I used a stencil to write out Newt's readathon. And then I put a little sticker that says make today count because since this is a month long readathon, you definitely have to make each day count. <laughs> um, so that is the first page. And then I have my Newt's readathon TBR list. And then I have this Hogwarts sticker and I actually got this in one of my loot crate boxes. And then I just have a list of all of the books that I'm going to be reading. And then these colors, these are the markers that I got at Barnes & Noble. Um, so you can see they work really well as like highlighting things. And then I have my reading progress page. I actually did the very same layout for the Owls Readathon and it worked so well, I wanted to do it again. So basically each little square represents 50 pages. So every time you read 50 pages, you get to color in a little square and it's oddly satisfying. <laughs> so like I said, it works really well. And then I have a Hufflepuff playlist. So I only have six songs on here, so I ended up doing one more playlist page. Um, and then you'll notice Billie Eilish. I have been listening to her so much this month. And then on this page, this is like my self-care page because since this readathon is a month long, you definitely want to take care of yourself. So I just have some different ways that you can do that. You can take a nap, take a shower, get some sun, or drink some tea. And then I have this photo from my Instagram. And then I have this little doodle and it says, don't worry, you're just as sane as I am. And then on this page, I think this is my favorite page. <laughs> so I definitely did a lot of doodles. Um, so I did the flying key, a little cauldron with a little potion. And then I did this little drawing of myself wearing my Hufflepuff scarf. And then for here, I have habit trackers. So there are two things that I want to do daily. Um, so in the morning, I want to do yoga, and then I definitely want to do some reading. Um, so I'm going to be tracking all of that on this page. And then this page, I added on to this because I wanted to use the washi tape. So <laughs> there's the washi tape. And then I have two photos from my Instagram. So I thought this would be perfect for this page because since this is a playlist page, I just have a little photo of my record player and then I've got a cute little photo of Margo um, so I just called this one the Newt's study playlist because you know we're gonna be working hard on our Newt's uh, this upcoming month and we're gonna need some music so um, I did kind of mess up on this though because I usually put the song title before the artist and so <laughs> I kind of put those backwards, um, but I'm going to have everything in the description box in case you want to listen to these songs. So yeah, that is everything for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again next week. Oh my gosh, wait, is the Newt's Readathon next week? Is it next week? Oh my gosh, next Thursday is the first day of the Newt's Readathon. Ah! It's like I knew it was coming up, but I didn't realize it was so close. I don't know. Ah! Okay, so um, yeah, I'll see you next week, and I'll definitely be doing a lot of reading vlogs for the Newt's Readathon, and I'm also, <laughs> this is crazy, but I'm also going to be doing a 24-hour reading vlog. Yikes. <laughs> All right, so I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.